Hi, I'm Neil Hunt, the Digital Lead of Broadband World Forum, and I'm with Sasha from Telecom Austria. Sasha, thank you for joining us. Um, there was just an interesting panel uh, discussion that you're involved with about um, telcos as, as data companies and the use of kind of customer data and big data. You described four pillars um, that were important to, to you at Telecom Austria. Can you describe them to me? Yes, of course. So basically, I'm a very optimistic, positive uh, person regarding uh, being a data-driven organization. I think service providers uh, have done a lot uh, the last years. Of course, there is uh, much more to, uh, to do and much more way to go. But I think compared to three years ago, uh, all service providers are at least doing something good. The four pillars of uh, Telecom Austria Group uh, where we apply more intensive advanced analytics are Number one, uh, to improve the customer experience. This is about uh, proactive maintenance, dealing with issues of customers even before customers recognize that they have uh, an issue. That's pillar number one. Pillar number two is to apply advanced analytics more for uh, gaining and increasing the internal process efficiencies. As an example, we started uh, process mining. Uh, we are uh, the experimenting with uh, natural language uh, programming to understand uh, the customer needs and the customer demand and the customer issue uh, faster and better. The third pillar is to apply advanced analytics much better for cross and upselling uh, activities. Uh, example could be uh, real-time contextual marketing and campaigning. And the fourth pillar is uh, our goal to develop new business-to-business -business products that are advanced analytics products for various kind of industries. So this is for transportation industry, retail industry, tourist industry, parking industry. Uh, so those are the four main pillars of directions of Telecom Australia. Brilliant, and I guess what are the challenges? Obviously we've got GDPR just around the corner. You know, are there, are there any other big uh, challenges that you face? Of course, I think uh, GDPR is in general uh, a good thing for consumers. Uh, and it's a challenge for service providers. Uh, but basically the good thing about GDPR, of course, is that uh, I think it, uh, it, um, it uh, incentivized service providers uh, to do their data inventory properly, properly uh, meaning uh, to be aware of what kind of data is stored where, and you need to do this uh, inventory management first. Uh, once you have done your homework on that, uh, it's pretty easy to be uh, compliant to any kind of uh, data regulation, I would say. And as a general rule of, uh, of, of guideline and guiding principle of us as well, uh, we need to provide attractive products and services for our customers, then of course it will be also much easier to get the consent of the customer to work with her or his data. And then finally, you know, that kind of change in skill set, you talk about machine learning and other advanced, you know, and advanced analytics. How, how difficult is that for a telco to integrate and kind of, you know, obviously a lot of, uh, you know, there's a lot of talk at this event about legacy and kind of the, the, the big networks and big investment in big infrastructure projects. Yet there's a change of mindset needed to, to, to carry out the kind of data work that you're talking about. Very true. So I think uh, basically uh, a lot of people uh, talk about the challenge of getting the right skills into your organization. And I think the truth is you need to find a good mixture of getting new fresh talents into your organization who are more used and more experienced in uh, uh, applying advanced analytics. But you also need a development program for your internal uh, talents and, and resources uh, to let them develop in this, into this uh, sphere because you need this combination of both. But I, uh, also I'm a strong believer in getting the skills is not the only thing that you need. It's the uh, same level of importance is getting the new culture of being a data-driven company. So uh, it's important uh, that a service provider manage to establish this culture of a data-driven company, plus of course then getting the proper skills into your organization. And I think it's of utmost importance that uh, you address both of those things. Brilliant. Sasha, thank you very much for your time. It was my pleasure. Thank you.